Hey everyone, I hope we're all doing well. Today's video is going to be the very first episode of this new series that I decided to do in which I'm going to try to document the process of writing my master thesis for my master's degree on information security and cyberspace law. And I don't know if anyone will be interested in watching this because I don't really know what I'm doing, but I think it's going to be nice to have something to look back after I finish it just to see how it all started. Now, let's talk a little bit about the topic that I'll be working on. So, choosing the topic is probably the most important thing to do and probably the most difficult as well. And at least it was the case for me. All I knew was that I wanted to force myself to study machine learning and artificial intelligence concepts and then try to apply those concepts to resolve or to fix any cybersecurity problem I could find. Um, but that was just too vague and as I was trying to find a more specific topic to start my research on, um, I realized that I wasn't getting any results and so I decided that I couldn't just keep wasting more time and so I asked for help and thank God I did. Unfortunately, I know that many people have problems with their supervisors, but I got very, very lucky with that because my supervisor was actually my teacher on my first year. He was teaching us cybersecurity forensics and his classes were actually the ones where I learned the most and he was always very patient with all the students and always did his best to help us with all the projects and assignments we had. Um, and so I explained to him all the ideas and topics I had in mind and he also told me that those ideas were just a bit too vague. Um, and so as we were doing some brainstorming, he came up with this amazing idea. And I'm saying that this is an amazing idea today. I don't know if I'm just shooting myself in the foot right now, but I think I'll be able to answer that in a couple of months. Now, before I tell you a little bit more about this idea, we must talk about a topic which is social engineering. Social engineering is basically the art of exploiting the human psychology instead of using sophisticated resources and techniques. Now, one example of social engineering attacks are those calls where the attackers say that they are talking from your bank or any subscription service you have, asking for credentials, personal data or any other information that can lead to further attacks. And these are the kinds of social engineering attacks that we are going to focus on. And some people call these attacks vishing, which is like a fancy version of the classical phishing that you often receive through emails or DMs. Now, what am I going to try to accomplish here? So, the plan is this. We are going to try to build a system that could learn from a dataset that consists of as many of those scam calls as I can find and also some legitimate calls and then trying to make it smart enough to classify other calls outside of the learning dataset as legitimate or scam. Now, this is the main idea and I don't really know how to do it right now. And so you're all coming with me and I would really appreciate any help or suggestions you may have. And I don't really know if I'm going to change the topic along the way as well, but hey, we all have to start somewhere, right? So for now, this is my topic, this is my idea, this will be my project for the next couple of months and I'm really excited about it. And that's it for today's video, I hope you liked it. If you did, please press the like button and also consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any videos because it's free and you can always change your mind. I also want to thank you all so much for watching the video until the end and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!